Maybe you're curious what today's going to look like. Well, meteorologist Krista McEnany is here. She's got you all covered. And it may not be as sunny as you hope, but hey, at least it's not snowing. Exactly. Yes, we have quite a bit of rainfall around, but it's coming with warm temperatures. So it's not snowing. It's going to be a soggy day, but it's not going to be too terribly cold either. So, you know, a give and take here with this Friday forecast. What I can say, though, is if you have any plans to be outside, you do need to have rain gear with you. These showers will be off and on all day long, all into the evening too. Live Guardian radar, you can see there's a lot of green on there, especially areas west and north of Indianapolis. Southeast hasn't filled in quite so much yet, but we'll get there. We are looking at our heaviest pockets of rain north of Indianapolis, so out towards Rossville, Flora, even into Lafayette. Frankfurt seeing some moderate rain showers, and it's starting to fill more back into Marion County as well. So all around the 465 loop, plan on those wet roads along I-70 as well. This is making a northeasterly movement, and as we look to our southwest, though, so plenty more rainfall is coming our way. It is going to be a very wet Friday. What we have going on here, we're dragging in this moisture from the southwest on southerly winds, and we have a front that is very slowly pushing its way into Indiana. That is squeezing out all the moisture that we're bringing into the state. It's just wringing out the atmosphere, and we're getting all of that rain coming to the ground. So that front's going to move very slowly across the state. It's not going to bring us too terribly far of a drop in temperatures as it does pass, but we will see a little dip in temperatures as we head through the day into tomorrow. Here we are in future view timing these showers out. It will be off and on throughout the day. So as we take you to the lunch hour, here we are at 1230. I'm still expecting quite a bit of rainfall around. I think that this is a little underdone at this time, but I do agree most of it will be off in our west and our northern counties. And then as we head into the evening hours, I'm expecting our biggest wave coming in at this time, at least starting. So this is 630 PM. Those rain chances will be ramping up as far as coverage once again and in their intensity, and they will be spreading across the state. I say we reach peak coverage as we head close to midnight. This is 1130 this evening. I'm expecting everybody to be seeing rain around this time and some heavier pockets once again. No thunderstorm activity. We're just talking rain, but heavy rain into tomorrow morning. This is 5.30 a.m. Most of the heavy stuff will be off on the eastern and the southeastern side of the state. So I'm expecting most of us to be seeing some sort of rain, whether it be showers or drizzle, but then this will be exiting. The timing of this has sped up once again. That's been the trend all week long. Every time we've been checking in with this system, it's been bumping up the timing a little bit more, and that's what we're still seeing. So instead of this exiting into the late afternoon, now it's looking to exit as we get into the late morning, early afternoon, and that's good news because this is new. New Year's Eve. Here we are tomorrow at noon. I'd still say a little bit of pockets, a couple pockets of drizzle around, maybe a light shower, especially off on the east side. But as we head into the late afternoon and evening, we could even see some breaks in the clouds and we are looking to ring in the new year dry. Here we are at midnight as we're ringing in the new year. I'm not expecting any rainfall at this time, but we will have picked up quite a bit of it where many locations by the time the system completely exits could be picking up over an inch of rain. That's possible in Indianapolis even more favorable north of Indianapolis, where some areas might even pick up more than an inch and a half on the lighter side to the south. I'd say a half an inch or more. That is certainly favorable at this time. The temperature is at 55 in Indianapolis, so we are mild. We were at 56 at midnight and we've just dropped a little bit and we'll continue to slowly drop the temperatures on into the afternoon. So we're not going to see a dramatic shift as those winds do shift out of the north. But by four o'clock, I'd say upper 40s to lower 50s around the area and then we'll be dropping down a little bit more as we head on into the late evening hours and into Saturday. But as we head through the evening, mid and upper 40s, still not a bad day, still pretty mild for the evening. And then we'll see those temperatures high of 46 for New Year's Eve as we dry out into the afternoon and a high of 54 for New Year's Day. And New Year's Day on Sunday is looking to be a dry one and a mild one. We could even get some peaks of sunshine in there too. So we are looking at some ups and downs in the forecast. Not bad as we head into the new year. By Monday, though, we're looking at some additional rain showers arriving, especially into the late afternoon and evening. Maybe even a couple of thunderstorms in there as well. That's something we'll watch closely. Tuesday, the warmest of the week, a high of 63 rain around, and then we'll have falling temperatures on Wednesday. By Thursday, we could even be seeing a little bit of rain to a mix and maybe even some light snow showers in the forecast. 